All right, hello, wine drinking people. Today is Saturday, the 7th of September. That's right. Wow, September already. We have got a stunning lineup of events for you this month and, uh, well, next month, October, another incredible month. And getting into the holiday seasons, we start to slow things down a little bit, but we still have got an exciting lineup for November and then even a few event events into December this year. Dom Perignon tasting, which should be fantastic. Fantastic. Well, we have got this event that just popped up on the calendar a few weeks ago with two great producers from Cobrand's portfolio, Tenuta Sanguido, uh, the maker of Sasakaya, which Sasakaya is the very first Super Tuscan. A lot of people will credit Piero Antonori with that, with this Tiginello, but actually uh, Sasakaya's first commercial release was 1968. And this is a, a winery on the Tuscan coast in the Maremma area and an incredible property in addition to being, uh, you know, having vineyards there. They've also got a bird sanctuary. Uh, they have a thoroughbred horse racing uh, facility there and uh, a horse raising facility there, not racing facility there. Sorry, they raise horses there. <laughs> they race the horses after they raise them. But uh, the wines there, world famous, Sasakaya, a almost 100% Cabernet-based wine. There's Cabernet Franc in there also. This is the winery that put the Maremma on. On the map. If you look at the people that are around Tenuta Sasakaya now, you've got Angelo Gaia's property out there. Uh, you've got Tenuta Ornalaya out there. So after you know this wine became famous, the other famous Ayas followed suit, and uh, you know this is one of the iconic wines of the world, not just Italy. When you look at great wines, Tenuta Sasakaya is sold the world over. So it's very exciting to have. Um, Alberto Chiarlo, uh, one of the Chiarlo family, and then Marco Sorio will be at dinner. Uh, two great producers, an evening not to be missed. Uh, Michela Chiarlo is a much larger producer than Sasakaya, even though, you know, Sasakaya does have uh, branches that go out. If you notice, there's a wine from Patagonia, Argentina here. Uh, this is uh, Bodegas Cachara, and uh, this is uh, Cachara, sorry, and this is a. Uh, uh, a producer of Pinot Noir from Patagonia, and this is an area that's uh, near the end of the earth, and you know, producing some very good Pinot Noirs from here. The family obviously saw some potential and uh, wanted to invest in somewhere outside of Italy. And uh, Argentina is a very popular wine-producing country today, but Patagonia. Most people have not had wines from Patagonia. These should be a real treat. And then, like I said, Chiarlo, we've got some of their top wines. Even though this is a big producer, they do make some very high-level wines, also like the Barolo Cerequio that we'll be having one of the top vineyard sites in the Barolo zone for the Nebbiolo varietal. We've also got some Arnais on the table tonight. And, uh, well, you know, you got to have Moscato for dessert, one of my favorite dessert-style wines. I always call this the soda pop of all dessert wines. And then Chef Aaron Brooks has put together an incredible menu here for us uh, next Thursday night. And uh, the dinner's $250 plus tax, plus the gratuity. And, um, you know, that's less than the cost of one bottle of Sasakaya on a restaurant wine list like the Edge Steak and Bar. So check it out. Everything we're going to be serving and everything that is available to your wine drinking people from both producers here in the marketplace. I'm your host, Andrew Lampassoni, signing off for the Wine Watch, saying remember, always drink the good stuff first.